welcome to OK with Lauren LaDudice, your place for comedy and commiseration. It's been two weeks. I've missed you, too. Um, if you're coming in, please do leave your name. And what's the weather over by you? Let us know. Um, as you know, this is a new platform for us. We're using StreamYard. We used to be a weekly Instagram live show. And then we moved over to StreamYard so that we can move see what's going on in YouTube, see what's going on Facebook, see what's going on in Twitch, kind of put it out to everyone. And I think I just pressed the button. I didn't. And I'm going to exit out right now because it started to get skippy. Okay, cool. All right, good. Everyone good? Everyone good? Okay, great. Um, so make sure that if you're here to leave a comment. So this is all to say that I don't know who's watching. Um, in Instagram, you can kind of tell who's coming in right away. Um, and for this platform, I have no idea who's watching or what's going on. So you have to let us know that you're there so that we can, uh, hang out and chat. So let us know your name and your weather. If you're, if you're around, whoever is around, if you're game. Okay. So let's get into our first segment because we have a big day. We have, um, we have a special guest, Carlos Miguel. We are going to be looking at inst our ancestry segment is a new segment that, um, we are going to be doing tonight. All right, so first, let's do our good old segment, books. Okay, so you are an arty, nerdy weirdo. So am I. We love books. All right, so the book that I just finished is, ba -ba -ba -bum, is Circe. Yes, it is. Yes, this book, this book, I just finished it. It was a really good read. It was a fast read, it, even though, I mean, it was a, it was an in-depth read, but it went fast because it was a page turner. Um, it's about the reimagining the history of the goddess Circe. And, and by the way, Google says it's Circe and that's not right. Okay, Google, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Circe is wrong, but I think Circe is right and Circe is wrong. Google, get your shit together. So it's about reimagining her history. She's this witch eg exiled on an island somewhere in ancient Greece and or ancient, ancient, whatever. And she is there causing mayhem, getting with her ex, her baby daddy's son but not son from another mama. That's who she gets with. And what a tie in to what we're gonna be talking about today um, about ancestry. But she, um, that's the book, I highly recommend it. It's a great read. It's a, like a good giving life to a woman's story in mythology, which doesn't always happen. So yay, <laughs> applause to that, okay. Great. So let's get to our next segment before further. Oh, 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 yes. I have to tell you, I am back in New York. Yes, I am back. I have a show this week on Thursday streaming with the Squirrel Theater. Um, it is um, a show, which is an improvised show, imagining what it's like, um, some drama happening at a picnic with a bunch of crazy characters. So I am part of that show. It's called Gut Reaction Live. It's Thursday, Squirrel, Twitch, Twitch TV. Um, and other than that, I am just readjusting to not being in Florida where everyone is fancy free. No offense, New York, you're a little uptight. Everyone's a little uptight. What can I say? I know big things happened here, but you're uptight. So I'm adjusting to you. It's okay. I understand. I understand you're coming out of the hole a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit. At it's okay. I get you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But uh, yeah, not as fun as Florida, no offense. Okay, so um, before we get to our ancestry segment, um, if you're having fun, tell a friend. That's how we spread the word about this show. Um, so, so please do. All right, so next segment is called, we have a new segment we are debuting today. We have a few people lined up the next few weeks to talk about it, ancestry.com. Because, let me give ourselves a round of applause for that one. So a lot of people have done Ancestry.com. Not a lot of people understand what the hell it means. So we're going to dive into this together. So you might have started um, with a DNA test. And so the DNA test kind of lets you know where your DNA is from. Crazy thing is that it's shifting all the time. Like as they get more samples, their 
breaking down of where things come from and how they can tell what is from where changes. So one day you might be Scottish, the next Northern Englandish. So yes, I know it's weird, but we're gonna go with what we have today. Um, we're gonna look at what we have today, knowing that these are just approximates and the data gets better every time as more people take the test. Um, but these are not set in stone. So we're going to just have fun with it because who knows? What the fuck? You know, whatever. At the end of the day, we're all related. Okay. We came from like five halo groups somewhere. That's from 23 and me, which we'll be talking about in another episode. Okay, cool. So let me, if we're in the do, let me introduce our guest tonight. Um, he is a comedian I met in Florida. Um, he's super funny, a good dude. He runs a week, a bi monthly open mic at Bradley's in West Palm Beach. Anyone out there, go hang out there. I highly recommend it. Now we're starting to do shows, which you can tell us about. I'm going to bring him on. Let's welcome Mr. Carlos Miguel. How's everybody doing? Yes. Um, well, thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, Lord, thanks for having me. Of course, of course, of course. Um, so you are you from, are you from West Palm Beach? I'm actually born in New York. Born in New York. Yep. Okay, cool. But I grew up in West Palm Beach. Awesome. Awesome. So you're here and you've done, when did you do your Ancestry.com results? Uh, around the holiday time, like December, January. Mm. I probably got it back like late February, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm not and were too you, shocked. I'm not shocked. You weren't too shocked. Else. You weren't nah. too shocked. There wasn't any major like, it's, what? It's, it's, no, nah, it's pretty even across the board <laughs> like transatlantic yeah you can figure out the rest have you looked at the relatives you're related to i glanced at some of them there are some like it where it starts giving you like second cousin third cousin yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that yeah. yeah i saw that today actually <laughs> yeah because that could live that's where the surprises often live um um, which I've been warned, like some of my friends are here and I'm doing this. They're like, you're not going to have people go look at their DNA matches and like discover in the show how they're going to like, oh my God, uh, I, oh my God, have a discover it on in front. No, nope, we won't do that. Um, but I recommend you go look at that. And if you want to come back and share it with us, you are more than welcome. So please. Oh, it's that, <laughs> it's that much of an eye struck. Is it, is it bad? Like the well, people what really can about? Is that, yeah. like you can find okay here's the thing about ancestry ancestry gives you ranges and just to be on the safe side they'll be like you're a sibling first cousin but you're really sibling but they'll like give you a range but like it's really sibling so sometimes you can discover so it's a little bit misleading and confusing there's the, i think the results are confusing on purpose because they don't want to make it so in your face like you know, he's not your dad, or like she's not your sister. So. Oh God! It or like you got another sister out there. Yeah, yeah. It blow. It is blowing up spots like all over the internet, all over the world. People are like, "What?" Oh I my called God, them, I didn't think of that. and it, they I had like a script, and they were like ready. They're like, "The results you got might be oh surprising to you." <laughs> You might want to be sitting down when you read this. <laughs> yeah, they were like a suicide hotline. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I didn't think, God, I should look back. I, I did see that now that you're talking about it. I saw the little thing scrolling across where it's like, hey, you might be related to this one and this one. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah. It's like, to find out, pay but extra. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. It gets crazier and crazier as you go down because um, as, you, as you dig into it, because then when, once you start, once you like link to a family tree and then you link to other people's family trees that have been doing the same thing, like distant cousins, and then you start getting photos of relatives you never heard of. I was stunned actually at the fact that how equal it was between being 19% Oh, don't tell yet. Don't uh, tell uh, yet. Okay, uh, we're gonna get to that uh, in just I'm a lying. second. I'm, I'm okay. kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, just da, 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 da. Uh, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna do a little. Um, we're gonna do a a, a little yeah. quiz we did about the, like to see if we can guess just things that might help us guess. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. What they they have nothing to do with ancestry, but maybe they do, and we can make connections. And this Ready. is a comedy show. This is not science, folks. Okay, so <laughs> this is not. 
scientifically proven thing. So I'm going to get my character. Carmela is going to come on to help us with this segment. Um, and as I, as I get into Carmela, I want to tell everyone to bring a friend. Uh, next show, make sure this is how we grow. Um, everyone brings a friend, so we've got to put on Carmela's lipstick. Car Carlos, you might have met Carmela while you're like born in New York or gone to visit. Um, she's an Italian past. grandma. Yeah. She lives, uh, now she's in Boca. But uh, so you might really know her. And then she's formerly from New York. Um, so let me get her, yes, her accoutrement on. And then she will, she is going to narrate. So in the show, my characters will sometimes take over for segments at a time. And that means we don't know what's going to happen. But that's part of the fun. Have you met Carmela, Carlos? Um, I'm about to. I'm sure oh, I've met versions to. of Carmela. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met. I've never done this character live. She comes into my stand up. You just, you just haven't known yet. I'm there. I'm in her stand up. She comes in sometimes. I'm very entertaining. So that's why she has me on. Hello, I'm Carmela Revoli. Boca Raton, Florida now. Yes, that's right. Near West Palm Beach, but it's a little better, a little more old. I like that better. You know what I mean? But I like the young sometimes. I go to Miami, hang out with my gay nephew, Fort Lauderdale. I know all about it. I'm very, I tell, I'm very on top of it. Okay, so we did a little, we did a, a questionnaire that has nothing to do with anything, but we're going to see, okay? All right, so, all right, so let's go down here. I know how to use the computer. See, I'm very, I'm very in it with it. Okay, we did it. His favorite food is Spanish food. It's from Spain. See, um, it's from, Sp oh, it's Spanish like Latino. Is that, is that it right? Go with that one. Yeah. Any form of it, any version of it. Okay. Very cool. Okay, any form version. Okay, favorite book is Pimp. Is that really a book? It actually is. It's written by Iceberg Slim. What is the book about, Pimp? Iceberg Slim is basically, as it's titled, a pimp who grew up in not so fortunate surroundings uh, and after going to jail a few times, decided to write a book and wrote a bestseller while in jail and then wrote a couple more. But Pimp was his first book that he wrote while incarcerated. And it basically explains like the, the life of the streets basically and being a pimp and how that works in the form of business throughout the world as we see it today. His name's Iceberg because of the fact that he was on so much drugs while in a club. A shootout happened and uh, someone shot at his head and his hat came off and he was so doped up he didn't even budge or move. So someone was like, damn dude, you're 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 an iceberg cold. Like you're you're ice cold. So mm. that's how the name stuck. It's a good, it's the book's referenced a lot throughout the comedy scene. And mm -hmm. uh, I ended up catching wind of it, read it. And it's really, it, it really gives you another perspective of the world from um, the underground to the suburbs, basically. Hmm. That's interesting. I got, I wonder if he, if he did the dr deal the drugs in Boca, you know, they ride around in the golf carts. Uh, I'm sure he, the tr when the train came down, yeah, I wouldn't maybe, be surprised. Maybe there you Boca, go. Boca is a lot like New York. Everybody wants to get away, but everybody wants to stay. You know, <laughs> it's true. It's true. We gotta have. We bring it. Just bring it down with us. That's what we do. Uh -huh. There's only so many Tupperware parties you can have. Thanks to the Golden yeah. Girls. That's the good. The Lanai. It's my inspiration for fashion, really. The Golden Girls. You I don't remember the Golden Girls wearing velour jumpsuits. I mean, like fashion is the big, the big glasses. I love that. No, that's because I'm Italian. I wear the velour jumpsuits. Oh, you're like uh, the Golden Girls meets Real Housewives. Exactly. Well, more Jersey Shore. Golden Girls meets was Jersey there, Shore. Was there a Housewives in Jersey? I don't even keep up with it. They're the Housewives shows in Jersey. There's that. They're the Mob Wives. All of those. They should do one in Boca. Oh, they should do one in Boca. I'd be more entertaining. Those Mob Wives. All they do is they just. They act, they act stupid. They don't act like, they don't act fun and they don't act fun and you have to act a little crazy. They don't act intelligent crazy. They just oh. act like idiots. But you know, it's entertainment, but not as entertaining as me. So that's where we go. That's why you're in Boca. They have all forms of crazy. 
All forms are crazy, that's right. <laughs> so your favorite movie is Gladiator, okay. Yes, amazing Gladiator. movie. It was a tie between that and Crash, but definitely glad Gladiator. Gladiator, that's with the ancient Roman times, right? Same Correct. With with Russell Crowe. Yeah. yeah. It's a it's one of the movies that got me when I was a kid. And I was just like, you know what I mean? When you catch something, it's like when you catch a really good sale in Boca and you just can't get your eyes off of it. It does two for one vodka. I'm there in a minute. That's that cup looks like it can fill both the two for yeah. That cup looks like it'll hold the two for one. It's a two for one. There we go. Right out of the cruise. Huh? I got it right out of the cruise, the Norwegian cruise line. You see, you notice this because you're you're from Florida. A lot of people don't know. They don't understand. They just go, well, look, Carmela with the crazy cup. They don't understand. It's from the cruise line. What do you think? I yeah. South Florida has one day cruises. They do. It's very good. The gambling's not bad either. Uh -huh. Makes for a story or an addiction. It does. Either or. I come with little cash. That's that. That's the way to do it. Um, give them a card, a debit card with only 60 bucks on it so you can't go over. Okay, so your TV show, new Marvel, any of the new Marvel shows? I have not watched one. No. I have not watched one of them. No, I've not watched it's, one of them. Uh, have you watched the movies at all? No, I have to say I haven't. None of the Marvel movies? No, between Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, it gets, it gets on, the day gets over. Oh, man. I thought there was a scene about them in Jeopardy. I'm I'm surprised any of the Marvel movies haven't been questioned in Jeopardy. There's there's some there's some sometimes, but you know, um, mostly I would like figure you more a, of a Price Is Right type. I do like Price Is Right. It's okay, but see, during the day, that's more during the day, and that's when I have my Bridge Club. Mm. So we're drinking by that time, so I don't get time. Is that before or after your book club? The the Bridge Club we during, so that's the, that's the thing. We bring the martinis, three olives. So what do you prefer out of all your shows? Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune? I think Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune? I like Wheel of Fortune the best because it's always, it's so simple. It's just like a nice laugh. And I love to see how Pac J Sajak's forehead gets more, more solid every year. And it looks like it gets bigger and bigger. He's gonna turn into one of those people from Star Trek. His forehead gets so big. A Klingon? He looks like a Klingon. He's looking like a Klingon. There we go. Pat says he's like a Klingon. Yeah, the Marvel movies are amazing. They really like, they basically took the production from any of the films and put it right into the television show. Into the television show. So it's the same thing. Yeah. I wonder if it must It's like six it. hours, but I mean, in, in total, because there's only once, once a week. Wow. It only comes out once a week. So, you know, That's but cool. it's definitely. It's definitely got the cliffhangers. Just keep you. There know. we go. And maybe Klingons, but not that's a CB other TV show. Uh, depending, they do go in space, so they might do something. There you go. So there you, you go. Know. You never know. They might make an appearance. Pat Sajak. I would. I would watch it if Pat Sajak made a guest appearance. I can see Pat Sajak in a Marvel film. That would be. That would be. He looks he's looking more alien every day. Same thing with Vanna. Vanna is up there in the plastic world. She I, is, I heard getting, Vanna gets a lot of work done in Boca. In Boca? Does she? Oh, I got to go stalk I don't know. That's, a, that's just a rumor I heard in Boca. Uh, uh, I got to stalk that out. I can't. I want to go see that. Yeah, we'll but no. Okay. Your favorite sport is basketball. Okay. Do you play basketball? I, I do not. I just watch. I observe. Okay. Okay. I'm smart like that. It's smart. I know it's too much, smart. too much. It's too much. I, I play, know. but you know, there's some people that want to play for a contract. I'm like, ah, uh, I'm break. just breaking a sweat. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. When people get into aqua aerobics too much, I'm like, get out of here. We're just, what I, are we doing? But in my aqua aerobics in the Olympics, give me a break. Just, just move around a little bit and call, tell your doctor you exercise. Okay. Oh, so nice. your favorite, ho you have no favorite holiday. Isn't I that interesting? I do not know. I mean, there's so many. I just roll with the punches, basically. You just roll with the punches. Oh, Dolores is here. I love Dolores. I love Dolores. How goes it, Dolores? Dolores. I love Welcome, Dolores. Dolores. Okay, musician is J. Cole. That's your favorite music, J. Musician. Okay. J. Cole. Your favorite Cole singer is Drake. Oh, would you want to say something about J. Cole? Go ahead. Go say say. What uh, for singer, I just threw Drake in there. I said, why not? Okay, Drake. Yeah, Drake. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get too in depth with it. Keep it as yeah. a singer because I don't call him a rapper. 
you know. Okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, I like Frank. I, I, I call him a singer, not a crooner, okay? He Frank doesn't... Ocean or Sinatra? Sinatra. What are you saying? Just asking. So Dak is from the neighborhood. I do have his preference for him from the old neighborhood. Um, City, New York, in this way, cheers to that. Because who would, who, Florida has the most amount of people of any state that actually say that New York is the best city in the world. More than maybe New York, I can tell you that. Because they're all coming from New York. Exactly, exactly. They know where it's at. There we go. It's a fun town. The fun town. Florida's great. Oh. The palm trees. What do I got? The palm trees. I sit by the pool. This Disney. Never a dull story. Never a dull story in New York. What Lee, is it? The, what, what, what is it? I said there's never a dull moment in Florida, let alone New York City. There's never a dull moment in the, in Florida. There's actually moments you never thought could exist in Florida. That's yeah, because you have to drive to get there. Yes, you just have to drive to get to the Drive water. every single one of them to get there. That's correct. That's the one thing. That is the one thing about Florida is you gotta you gotta drive everywhere. That's the thing. I'm always in my or car. Uber. Oh yeah, that's that. Our Ubers. I heard those getting expensive. Yeah, they're actually what the or did you hear the well the bridge version from what I read was basically that now that it's up to par with everything, this is the actual prices that they were um, selling at. This is the actual price point, like the original. Hmm. The past few ah, years was the build up. Yes. We've been like the friendly hoopla. Yeah. They got what us. They're, going for. they're like, we got them now. Yeah. Yeah, we got them. There we go. So, okay. Drug of choice is weed. Okay. Whose answer was that? I don't know whose answer was that. But you, with the weed and the Marvel movies, I think you also might be, your ethnicity might be stands up comedian. So there we go. Oh, I sit down a lot, though. I don't know if I could ever do there that. There we go. <laughs> you sit down. You're, you're a comedian. It's a comic. You, you're getting there. All right. So um, people mistake you for someone who gives a fuck or any bald comic with a beard. Okay? All right. So uh, that's, uh, that's, that's what I tell my wife. My family calls me all the time. I say, you might mistake me as a relative who gives a shit about being here, about your stupid holidays. I, I get you on the holidays. It's a smile. <laughs> I've not been to a holiday. I haven't been to best being being in Florida. I don't have to go to New York for Christmas. So what are you saying? So 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 you, you got a smile on your face? Like any yeah, the smile is the the insinuating that I give a fuck. <laughs> it's just like no, it's there just my past time. I go. do. I care. You just can't tell everybody. But I do get mistaken for a lot of bald comedians. Do you like who? Um, Jason. There's one Jason Banks. He wears a hat a lot though. Okay. Um, there's a couple. I, a Wayne's brother, I get a couple. You know who I used to get a lot um, when I didn't have a beard even? Terry Crews. Terry Crews. You know who that is? I don't think I do. He was from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He did a Terry couple Crews. Adam Sandler, the big, the big guy. Terry Crews. Yeah, he did a couple movies, a couple of comedies. He was in White Chicks, the one from White Chicks, the muscle guy. Terry Crews. Yes, I do know who he is. I don't know. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. Hmm. Like, no, nah, you guys just don't get out much. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. People are like, oh yeah, that that thing. Yeah, I get it. You get it when you're old a lot. People are just like, oh, another person with a track suit. Who do you think I look like? I think you look like Carlos Miguel. Who's that? Oh, I heard I heard about that guy. Yeah. I heard about that guy. Yeah, he's pretty good. Nice the guy. The comic. He kind of gives a fuck. He definitely, he, I think gives he really fuck. gives a fuck. He's like, in, in his own way, his own way. He, he's in Boca a lot. Is he? She yeah. come, come look me out. Let me know his show, so I'll come. I'll meet you at the the one day cruise, the casino cruise. There we, oh, there we go. Let's go gamble. Let's go see, face off. Now you have, um, cops are, you didn't answer this one, but this one is usually what we put to see how white people are. So that's, that's okay. Cops are. Um, we mostly give it to white people to be like, how 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 white are you? That's what we want to know. All right, I was gonna put that they have another form of a union. The cops are a job with a union. <laughs> like I don't know. That's that's true. They are a job. They have very big union. That's that's, that's true. Cops are. 
Yes. When you give that to certain people with certain hats on that are the color red, they go off on this one. And then we go, oh, I think we know what you are, Alabama. Okay. All right. Trigger. So, Trigger. <laughs> yes. Maybe it's a trick question. Okay. So these are the three options, everyone. These are the three options Carlos Miguel gave us. Is he could potentially be, he identifies as Asian, white, or Spanish. What do we, what do we got here? I think, I think we're going to have to agree. Let's see any more comments. Yeah, I see, see a comment here. Dolores, Dolores is smiling. Okay. So what are we getting here? We're guessing anyone wants to guess? If, but see, you know what? I, we're just going to have to go with it because I'm, I'm going to guess. Because you know why? I think it's obvious you're Spanish. Okay, there we go. What right? is it? Did, did we get it right? Yeah. Thank you. And that that concludes this segment. I got it right. Now let's look at the results. Lauren's going to come back to look at the results because I really just got to go get another drink. So she's going to come back. Thank you very much. Good night to meet you, Carlos. Let's go. I'll meet. see you in Boca. I'll see you in Boca. I'll see you in Boca. Be so fun. We'll look Salud. for that golf cart with your fr pimp friend. Okay. <laughs> I'll send you the link to the book. All right. Oof. Thanks for hanging out with Carmela. She had a good time. She's cool. awesome. So now let's um let's see um the results. Okay. Okay, so let's see your results. And we're gonna compare this in for our next segment, but for now, your um results were drum roll, please. Here we go. So you are you 19% Cameroon. Am I? Oh shit. Cameroon, Congo. Wasn't it Spain? Yeah. So you see how like the the Congo and the Western Bantu and Spain are both 19%. That's like yes. the most Latin of Latins and then like the most Africans of Africans. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm Wales and Ivory Coast and there's a whole Where? lot of more one percent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Honest, the one thing I thought I'd be more uh, Nigerian. Interesting. Eight percent. Why do you think it'd be more Nigerian? I don't know, because Dominicans get a bad rep, Nigerians get a bad rep, so it was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. It it's pretty much fits my uh, tone. My mannerisms is uh, pretty accurate with it. Indigenous, Eastern, South America. Yeah. I'm all up and down the East Coast of Africa. Yeah. The to yeah. the to go people. But yeah, that, that Congo and Spain one really got me. I was like, oh, cool. Mm hmm. Spain, that's awesome. Now we're going to do a, um, so nothing surprised you. Everything felt like it was there. Awesome. Indigenous, Eastern, Southern, I wish it was North America for you. And then you could be like, I'm not paying taxes. I don't know what's the, yeah. um, <laughs> Native American, you don't have to pay. And what, I don't know what the percent needs to be, but you could be like, hey. It's, all, it's still good enough for a write-off. Wales has go. to count for something. It's gotta count for something. I've got cool. some royalty in me. I got 1% You do? We got what, whale, the royalty, yeah, from the South America, you mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. All right. Now we're going to do a segment. Oops. Why did this come on my screen? We're going to do a segment called, let me get this off. Do, 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 do. All right. Okay. A, a segment called, um, do, 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 do. Well, here we go. And this all goes. Um, did our ancestors screw? Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm gonna bring up um, screenshots of both of ours, side by side, and we're gonna see what percent chance was it that our ancestors could have met That's back it. in the day. I do have 1% Irish. Oh, yes. Oh, so the, did it go further on under, under Wales? Everything was 1%. Like I'm telling you, I had like, a dozen of things, but they were all 1%, <laughs> like 1%. Okay, 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 so let's see. Um, we're gonna bring this up here. 
Okay. So um, let me just make sure this is going. Yes, cool. We're on the side. Excellent. Excellent. So here we go. So cool. Irish, you had one percent. Five five percent Irish. You had, and you have one percent. So there's like a one percent chance that maybe somewhere in Ireland they got together. And you did you have they had, Scots? They had a beer. They had a beer, maybe. They had a beer together. Uh, Wales, that's so specific. I don't have any Welsh, but maybe England and Northwestern is in there. Like maybe that's in the Welsh category. So maybe the, there's like a, a one, two percent chance. In the they had to have been crossing paths at the same time. They had to be they had to be getting together. It could have happened. Two percent chance. All right, cool. So I, I would think our ancestors did not screw. There's a good, not a good chance, <laughs> but no. there's a 2% chance that maybe they cross paths. There's a 2% milk chance. There's a 2%. That's milk it. Chance. Wow, that's great. I feel like people should do this. There is actually a thing in, in Iceland because so many people are related. I believe it's Iceland where you can look up to make sure that you're not related to someone. I've heard of that. <laughs> I've actually heard of that. <laughs> it's just like you put in whatever the information is and it scans it out. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They, they need that in a lot more places than Iceland. I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, totally. totally. And like, that would be a like, game changer at the bar. <laughs> yeah. Totally. You're like, Hey, um, hey I'll buy you a drink. But before that, can you just, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit awkward. Like you're like, I see myself in you so much. You <laughs> and then I don't even think about like all the people who don't totally know their ancestry. They think they do, but they don't because of whatever went on, mailmen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, the adoption on this, on the low, affairs on the low. So many yeah. things, you know, like sperm donations on the low. On everybody on the lowdown. Yeah, the sperm donations on the lowdown. So then they think they know their ancestry and then they don't. And then they get with someone and they're like, whoops. <laughs> that's ex that's actually facts. Actually, that's, that's actually something that um, being in Palm Beach County on the island, the, yeah. the uppity up life, it's like, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, they prefer to keep it bridges up if they could they do yeah fascist island i call it yeah they um they there has to be inbreeding because they just all like keep it amongst each other private parties yeah private they keep it they keep it close in a lot of mm -hmm. ways yeah, that's interesting i wonder if they but you know wasps are really big into their family trees who? But even then, still, there's a lot of like people with the sperm that you don't think that is their sperm, the right sperm. All it takes is one, I guess, turn for the worse. Ugh. Yeah, then shit can go down. Or just cool. Stay the same. Same. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What'd you say? I said our shit just ends up staying the same. Or just ends up staying the same. Ugh. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. Our next segment is cutest baby picture. We were going to do hottest ancestor, <laughs> um, but for just a shortage of pictures, we did. Now, this is what happened. Now, Carlos, you can come back because in answer, if you start getting into it and start linking to family trees, you're going to get all these crazy ancestor pictures sent to you. Um, and I have one. I'm going to show yours. I have, I have one. We have doing baby pictures, though, and I have one. Um, and you have one, and we'll compare. And it's hard to compare, to compare baby pictures because we're all cute. So here we go. Let me get. All right. Here we go. Look at you. You are. This is so you. This can't be any more you. I'd be like, if I had to pick you out of the nursery, I'd be like, that is Carlos Miguel right there. That is so cute. That was me. <laughs> And the fists were up. They were. The fists were up, ready to go. That is so cute. And this is mine, which 
Here we go. <laughs> uh, when you're hungry, you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, this is um, with lipstick. That's lipstick? It looked like it yes. was lasagna you ate. And now, yeah, you would think. You ate the, um, did you eat the lipstick? Um, I think I just put it on crazily. A nod to later times with uh, a fascination with costuming and being a, not a great at it. <laughs> like we're not being great at being like a mainstream girl, just being like a, a, uh, a little bit of a outside the mainstream in terms of like lady stuff. But then um, I like costuming for my characters. I pay more attention to that than myself. So. Well, he's Throughout the time, now you can officially say you learned how to put it on properly? Yes, a kind of a little better than before by going to makeup counters and like begging for stuff, begging for help. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's how I learned to do it properly. Just by going and being like, help, help, help. Do you know how to put on makeup properly? Uh, no. No, that's no, no. a skill. It's helpful. I've heard. I've. It's a well thought out process that I appreciate women taking time <laughs> to do. So what do you think? What do, you, what do we have here? Who? I don't know if we could compare. Maybe this isn't compare. No, just I think different. yours is better. I think yours is better. Uh, we're such good people. Our, now we can feel better for ourselves. <laughs> we're such good people that we think each other are cuter. We're like humble enough to admit that. That's. Mine's just an angry baby. <laughs> Oh, this! This is just so cute! Aww. Whatever, it's like, it's kind of like, I don't know, I mean, it's a cute little baby, not really fun. I wouldn't think you were really angry. It doesn't seem super angry to me. It seems more like... Oh, I was decisive. angry. From the you story that I... From the story, because there's another picture where it's just the face. Yeah. Where I was just flaring, and the face was there, and then that that was the one that hit with the arms. So then they, they say that you were angry, actually. Apparently, yeah, because I, I guess I didn't want to take the picture, and then we were out in the park, and they were wow. like, I wanted, I wanted to get out of the seat. They wanted to keep me in the seat. That's the story. That's how the story goes. Aww. They, they were, basically, you were, you were advocating for your value. This You're was like, in New York, paid. actually. Oh, this is so New York. You were such a New York kid. Central Park, yeah, I was in Central Park. You're like, I'm enjoying my time. I don't need photos right now. Yeah, I'm on my off time. Apparently, that's how the story went. Yeah. I wanted to. You're ready to be a star, Carlos. This is it. I wasn't going to be held down, but I was held down. There you go. Um. Oh, Dolores thinks that both are cute. That both of these. Both that both of these babies. I th I agree. You, I think they're both I cute. I, th I think they're both great. And we're good people. Yes. Okay, Carlos, where can people find you? Where can we find to keep up with you? You can find me on all my social media links through Carlos Miguel on okay. Instagram and Facebook. I am all okay. over West Palm and South Florida in the comedy scene. Uh, YouTube, Carlos Miguel. I have my first ever comedy show in West Palm Beach coming up on July 1st at ER Bradley's. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Um, um, really good things. Hopefully the first of a lot to come. Uh, it's a free show. I have the link for it on my Instagram bio and a Facebook page as well. Uh, all over South Florida, the comedy is getting bigger and better. There's a lot of opportunity. Of course, Lauren, you already know that. We actually ended up performing at the same spot in Miami a couple of weeks ago and had no idea that we were both in the so lineup. Fun. That was a lot of fun. And that's how the scene's going around here in South Florida. And I'm so blessed to be a part of it. I am hoping to be a part of many, many things for the years to come for the comedy yep. scene in South Florida. We'll get more shows going, more comics, bigger laughs, more people from New York doing their thing. Lauren with her characters. I'll be down there. I'll be down there. Have, my you have one shit. character for every part of Palm Beach County. <laughs> there, that, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I have one that I really need to do. I need to start writing more for her because she's like, um, she's a super bow tie. She's a, a um, you get no respect when you're a real wise health re reject. 
So she's just. Um, <laughs> it sounds like she's from Jupiter. <laughs> and she has a song about pills. She's a definitely pill. from Jupiter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like a pill advocate. She's just mm. like. You know, you take one Xanax for lunch and an Oxy for dinner, and they act like you're snorting cocaine off a hooker's ass. Um, she sounds like she lives on A one A. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to go to I want to go to shows in those neighborhoods and do that just to horrify. Like everyone's gonna be like the some people are gonna be like upset, like oh, how dare you, and then some people are gonna be off it, on their floor. That, that's a, the best way to do it. Is <laughs> you're getting their attention one way or another. Yeah, cool. Well, so right. thank you for, I'm so grateful you did this with me. Thank you for coming um, and doing this fun, crazy experiment which we're doing here. We're ex um, you know, this might be a show which I'll bring to South Florida, Carlos. This is, um, okay. this is what we're doing. We're <laughs> workshopping it here. And I I'm hope you, this is one of many things to come for you. Cool. You were so much fun on my open mic. And I hope you keep that Riddler jacket with you. So we'll I never have forget it. that. <laughs> the jacket is awesome. <laughs> yep. The Riddler lives on. The Riddler lives. Um, he has to. And everyone, you got to come see me live to see it. I have my sparkly jacket for this occasion, and then I have my Riddler for live. Oh, you're about to rub a lamp. Yeah, there we go. Do, 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 do. What is this? You're like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got this them. actually in West Palm Beach at a I vintage store. It. The best, some of the best vintaging is in West Palm Beach because the old people come dump their closets because they're like, oh, it's it's actually warm, and so they get a lot of great stuff. Vintage, FYI. I actually didn't know where the distribution warehouse for Goodwill is in West Palm. <gasps> you do? I do. <gasps> I know where all the good fixings are for vintage in West Palm. All right, we're talking. Okay, mm -hmm. next time I come down, I am texting you because that is my dream. That's why I didn't, uh, this is a sign. I didn't make my way to, to Salvation Army in West Palm Beach when I was down there because I was just busy. But then now that you told me that, I know why, because something bigger and better is coming. <laughs> the, the there's warehouse. certain ones you go to. There's certain ones in Palm Beach County you go to when you're looking for clothing because of the demographics in the yes. area. You know which ones you can be like, all right, I want that one. I want to go to that one. And then there's yes. some other ones where you find like a bunch of crazy things. Yes. Great. Like, up, and you got me. And like in New York, you go to certain vintage that have like furniture and you can get insane furniture for like super cheap because people are just getting rid of shit. That's true. Cool. All right. You got me. Thank you. Thank you so much Thank for, you for this and me, for hooking me up with the, the, all the vintage store, thrift store stuff. You're the no year be best. You'll be best you are in awesome. Ways. Many, Talk. many good things to come with your subscribing Thanks. ancestries and okay. <laughs> and your comedy. Thanks. I hope you keep getting more characters. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> Always. Okay. Thank you, too. You're going to do, you're doing so well. I'm just so psyched to see everything you're doing grow and prosper. And it's amazing. And I'll see you soon. I'll be back. I'm back and forth. I'm going to probably go back um, and forth a few times a year because I like it that much down there. You know where to find me. I appreciate yep. you. I can't wait to see cool. you again. Mwah, Take hugs. care of yourself. You too. Mwah. Okay, bye. Bye. All right. Well, there you have it, everyone. That was a super fun episode of OK with Lauren LaGiudice. I will see you next week at 9 p.m. We have another guest to come play Ancestry Games with us. Um, and I will see you then, OK? I don't mean to do that. That was so cheesy, but I did it. So it's there. Okay, like I always say, if you could be where my card, I love you. Mwah. Bye.